Welcome to this introductory video presentation of the Kurzweil PC3 sound editor software. The Kurzweil PC3 is a powerful multi-turbo synth and the ultimate performance controller, combining Kurzweil's proprietary VAST, KB3, and VA1 technologies. The sound editor software allows you to reach inside and manipulate the almost endless list of available parameters using a beautiful, intuitive user interface. The onboard screen of the PC3 does allow you to edit the many features and functions of this newest Kurzweil flagship. However, the limited real estate of this screen simply doesn't allow you to develop your own custom sounds with near the efficiency of the PC3 sound editor. The ability to see many parameters at a glance and to access a multitude of available pages quickly makes the editing process far more creative and intuitive. So let's get started. When you start up the PC3 sound editor, you will be presented with this screen. Before proceeding, we must establish a connection between the PC3 and the computer. This can be done through the use of a common MIDI interface. However, the PC3 features a USB interface on the rear of the keyboard to eliminate the need for a separate MIDI interface and cables. Attach a USB cable between the PC3 and your computer. Then select MIDI setup from the MIDI menu. You will notice a number of references to the PC3 in the list of connections. Select the first Kurzweil PC3 as the MIDI in port and the first Kurzweil PC3 as the MIDI out port. Do not use the virtual port connections. Click done and that's it. You will notice that the startup screen will be the program page and is divided into three main columns with rows of navigation buttons across the top and a readout window indicating the program you are accessing. In the left column, there are 16 slots representing the 16 MIDI channels that can be loaded with the many versatile programs listed in the center column. Click and drag the scroll bar on the right side of the center column to see the staggering list of available sounds. If I wish to place a sound in the first available slot or MIDI channel 1, all I have to do is highlight slot 1 in the left column, then select a sound from the center column. Before doing this, click all programs to be sure that all the available sounds are ready to be selected. Clicking any program in the center column will immediately update slot 1 on the left and we can play that sound. The same process follows for any of the other channels on the left column. The PC3 keyboard will play whichever slot is highlighted. If you wish to narrow your search for sounds, use the buttons on the right-hand column to assist you to find the perfect program. As you can see, there are 16 available banks of sounds available. This is one way the PC3 organizes programs. Each bank has 128 program slots and can all be accessed through bank and program change commands over MIDI if needed. As you can see, by selecting any of these banks, an entirely new list of 128 patches are revealed. If you wish to search by instrument family, click one of the category buttons. This will reveal a collection of programs from the family. Select the channel slot on the left, select a program, and repeat as needed. You can also arrange the patch list by alphabetical order or search by name. If you select all programs and scroll down the list, you will notice that there may be some empty slots. If you select the found button, all the blank slots will be removed from the list. The program is the basic building block of the PC3, but there's nothing basic about the concept. Each program can contain up to 32 layers of completely independent sound sources. These layers can be assigned to produce very complex and compelling sounds. By assigning a sound to a channel slot and either double-clicking the program name or hitting the edit button, the various layers that make up the program are revealed. Selecting Rock Piano 1974 shows a program made up of two layers. The keyboard icon indicates that this is a simple split using the same sound source. One reason the programmer seems to have decided to split the sound was to allow the higher range of notes to be lowered by 1 dB in volume relative to the lower range. The common button reveals parameters that will be common to all layers of the program. Program effects shows effects that all layers will run through. Controls represent the top panel faders 
and K-Zones provides a simple way to establish splits and layers between the various sounds in the program. By selecting Cold Piano, we see that this is a four-layer program. This program is obviously based on an acoustic piano, but there are some other things going on. The keyboard image reveals that the four layers cover the entire playable range, so it would seem that all the sounds would play across the entire keyboard. Let's take a look. First, let's turn off the two sounds that are not piano sounds. A closer look at the names of the first two layers shows that one has mezzo piano indicated in its name and the other mezzo forte. If we solo the mezzo piano sound in layer one and strike the keyboard at various velocities, we will notice that at a certain point, this layer stops playing. If we then solo layer two, we will see that the opposite is true that layer 2 only responds to higher velocity. We can drill down into the details of the individual layers by clicking the layer bar or the edit switch. We see that this is a stereo layer using a left and right sound source. As previously discussed, this program is a layered sound and the layers are controlled by velocity. Layer 1 is a mezzo piano sound and we must limit the range of played velocities. This is accomplished with these two controls. Enable Min and Enable Max. We see that this layer will play across the entire note range from velocity 0 to velocity 73. If we close this layer and open layer 2, we will notice the same stereo sound source except the mezzo forte version. It also covers the entire note range but from velocity 74 to velocity 127. This allows the entire range of the keyboard to play a more accurate representation of the response of an acoustic piano by using different multi-samples to respond to velocity level. If we now go back to the layer page and turn off the piano, we can audition the sounds that make up the lushness of this layered sound. We can see that there is a string sound and a pad sound that makes up this program, and that they are both significantly lower in volume relative to the piano layers. We can adjust these to achieve a different balance that may better suit our needs. A row of buttons along the top show a number of pages that can be used to edit the various parameters of this single layer. There's far too much to cover in this video, but it can be seen that the opportunities to modify the tiniest of detail is possible. It must be remembered that this level of detail in editing is possible on each of the 32 layers that can make up a single program, and that the PC3 can have 16 channels of separate programs playing at one time. That's a lot of power.